just to be here on today. I don't know if you are thankful or not, but I'm so thankful just to be here. Praise God, and I do oh, give respect to our leader. Praise God, and I, I tell you, you know, MC is one thing. Praise God, I've done that, but it's been a while when I stood before you and, and, and tell you thus what thus said the Lord according to speaking to his people. And today I'm asking your prayers. Amen. Feeling like my knees knocking together. You know, you've been, a, you know, I know y'all don't see them touching, but <laughs> woo, praise God. I thank God for all of you, but I'm going to the word of God. And, and our pastor on this year started us out with prayer. And God gave him a, a vision, say, don't stop. I want you, want you to continue in prayer. Praise God. We went for a, for a few weeks, and then God told him, you know, that I, I want you to do it on a monthly basis. And, God, and the pastor told us, praise God. And I, I'm so thankful for prayer. And that, and that kind of, uh, 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 before he said it, I've been, I've been in a series of uh, reading in a, in a uh, book of uh, prayer, talking about hindrances, hindrances of prayer. What hinders you? And how many things can, 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 can throw you off a track and, and distract you? You're right. Praise God. And praise God. Sister Johnson going to read for me on today. Uh, I know we had another. Oh, you got it? Okay. Praise God. Amen. Uh, but I, I thank God. Praise God. Because uh, God kind of put it in another form as I've been reading. Some of, and, and he... Uh, told me today to speak to you, God's people and those that are listening. And what the subject he gave me was God wants to talk with us. See, it's, it's, it's a different method in talking to you because that in most kind, that's mostly... Uh, you are thought of as you are lecturing to me when I talk to you. But when I talk with you, then that, that brings on uh, uh, two or more persons uh, to communicate, to dialogue when I talk with you. And sometimes that's our problem. God got to teach us how to stop talking to people. And talk with them. See, with them, well, I, and, and I know Sister Wilkerson don't mind this, but uh, you know, if if I told her, Sister Wilkerson, I want to talk to you, and the first thing gonna come to her mind, well, uh, may I ask you what you want to talk about? That would be common. But if I entered, if I change that around, say, Sister Wilkinson, I want to talk to you, talk with you about the cowboys. <laughs> then that relaxes her. Cause now she knows there's gonna be a conversation. <laughs> and there will be a dialogue. Praise God. Whether I like them or not. There will be a dialogue. So God is telling us today. In my scriptures, we come into you from Psalms 100. Just a few verses in, in Psalms 100, 1 through 4. And, I, and I, I, I might not get through the whole thing. I, 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 just because it hadn't been in this position alone, I'm not going to try to do it all be, and make up for where I haven't been. So I'm going to stick with pastor's time. Praise God. He hit it and move on. 
Praise God. And, 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 and one of our elders in the jury did say, you don't have to be long to be strong. Hey, I feel my help coming now. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. And, and I was wondering, Lord, am I going to hear something today? And I, even on a, through the Sunday school, uh, the brothers today that do our Sunday school lesson, praise God. We dialogued. We didn't even get to the Sunday school lesson. We talked with each other. We talked about our different scenarios and what God had brought. And then, then the, the choir got up here and sung the song. I think it was the second song. Say, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, all that within me. And then, and why would I want to do that? That other part of that verse be said, because he has done great things for me. Now, uh, now, I, now, now, let me use another analogy. I'm, I'm going to get your attention here. If I drove from Colorado Springs to Denver, and and and, and 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 I had, uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> Sister Risby. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. If I had uh, uh, Mother Oliver in the car, and there was no communication, I would know there's a problem. See, y'all don't get, y'all hadn't caught on yet. Because why would that be a problem? Because Mother Risby and Mother Oliver don't mind dialoguing. And there's going to be some conversation between the both of you. And so the day God is telling us, I want to talk with you. How do we talk? I just told you, beginning of the year, how do we talk to God? Through prayer. See, prayer is, 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 is not a, 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 a word that people is sought out so much. Prayer. But God wants to talk to us. And, 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 and so I'm going to... Uh, we're going to read that verse, those verses. So by now, you should have gotten it. Sister Johnson, go read those verses, and I'm going to break it down to you and go on into my rest of my message. And uh, you all can go home, and because you got it turned down low, I understand. <laughs> praise God. And some of you all have, praise God, mind haven't left the bed yet. You're here, but your mind's still at the house in the bed. So I'm hopefully with through God's message today, way of communication. Some some of you, even the children's in here, even some of you all, everybody don't have a a personality. Well, we 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 some of us is is B and and we and we only communicate only if you talk with us. They won't start the conversation. You, some of you looking at me out there now, you won't start the conversation. But you know, in order to build a conversation, there has to be a relationship. See, Mother Risby and Mother Oliver and I, and some of you others, we have a... And conversations, especially when we talk... Talk, talk. It comes from a relationship. So you're going you're gonna to get the message before I sit down on today. Praise the Lord. Let's start at Psalms 100, the first verse. What did it say, Sister Johnson? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Right, right, right there. See, some of you are confused already because you just like to make noise. 
You're not really saying nothing. Y'all catch me now. Catch me now. But my subject is God wants to what? Talk. He don't want us to make noise. But he want to talk. He want to have a conversation. See, noise in here, David wasn't just talking about making a noise. He talking about the relationship that he has with the Lord. But he say, make a joyful noise. Oh, my God. Oh, why? Because God has done great things for us. My God. God is so good. All right, remember that now. Make a joyful noise. We're talking about talking with God. Okay, second verse. All ye lads, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. All right. Oh, God. You can't. Be a singer unless you say something. See, somebody say, well, you know, you know, I can talk to the Lord. Don't have to say nothing. We come in here and the Lord say, and, and we, we tell us, we tell us, tell the Lord thank you. Well, that's, that's good in his own way. But if God has done great things for you, I shouldn't have to tell you to tell the Lord thank you. God wants you to talk. That's, a, that's the same concept I believe in when God saves a person. Now I know I, I, I'm a little of an older school. I didn't say old school. I'm of the older school. And, 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 and I know we used to Coming up, and when people get saved, we tell their testimony. But God wants us to tell our testimony. If we're saved, if I'm saved, what hinders me from telling you I'm saved? What hinders me from telling the Lord, thank you? Talking, communicating with the Lord. And, and, and he say, come in his presence. I know. He say, come in his presence. See, God's presence is just here at church? Is, is he just at church? Come before his presence. So, so if you're communicating before you get here, when you get here, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, my God. It shouldn't be all on the praise team. It shouldn't be so heavy on the messenger. But we should respond. We should respond. Go ahead and read that, those verses. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Huh. It, Go. It is he that has made us. That's that enough to shout of it right there. It is what? It is he that has made us. And, 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 no, it's because of that little plat you got on top of your head. <laughs> it's because of that mask you got on. It's because you added some more to that which God gave you with. Because you added. No. It is who? He. he. That what? That has made us. And who? And not we ourselves. Oh, you, you, uh, maybe, maybe why you're not communicating. You're not talking to it because you think it's, it's all me. It is not me that made me. <laughs> we what? We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Oh my God. That's why you need to, when, when, when the opportunity presents itself, because everybody not able to be here. That's why God blessed us through social media. See, you thought it was just to, just, just to show that suit you had on, that, that dress you had on. That, that, oh, oh, I spent $180 for this hairdo. 
I got to show it to somebody. So uh, we're on social media today. So I know I'll be able to show it. No. It's not we ourselves. But God. Oh, God. Hey, my God. So that's why you ought to enter how, sister? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. You ought to show some what? Appreciation. Uh How? Not just here, but during the day, during the week, during the hours. You ought to show how do I, how? God want me to show some appreciation by talking to him. Father, I thank you. Father, I love you. Father, I praise you. Oh, I just, oh, I just, I, I just, just, if it had been a little bit earlier, I would have been in the midst of that accident. But Lord, I thank you. Hey, my God, my God, my God. Oh, my God. I just left up out of the neighborhood. And I just left from the very spot that was shooting going on. In it into his gates with thanksgiving you ought to be some folks act like they just not thankful for nothing but do, should that shot stop you no from doing what God say enter to his gates with thanksgiving and to what and into his courts with praise oh my I, 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 I know I'm messing up now I ain't telling nobody to get up here when God, when the spirit is up on me. Praise God. I ain't telling nobody to get up and do it. Praise God. But we ought to be able to enter in his gates. Even if you can't get up. Oh God, when God's presence is in the room, your hands ought to be up somewhere. Oh, your head ought to be looking to the hills for when cometh my help. It's up. Let me move on. Go ahead. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. And bless his name for what? The, the fifth verse. For the Lord is good. Ah. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure to all generations. Oh, my God. Somebody say, now, oh, he, Ella Davis, he hasn't been up there a long time. He just messing with me now. That's all. No, but, but. Let me, let me use this analogy. Do some of y'all remember when you first met your first love? We call them boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, uh, do, uh, uh, we talked, no, we talked every other month and, and we talked, no, none of you all looking at me. None of y'all, if, if you're here, you go ahead and repent right now. If you, you know, talking about you talked every other month. If it wasn't every break at your job. Oh my goodness. We talked because we was building a what? Oh my God. So how much more do God want us to talk? With him. But in order to talk with him, because you have a goal in mind. When you had when you had that little fine girl, you had a goal in mind. And you kept the conversation. I don't know if it was keeping somebody else from talking to her or what. Or him. Oh yeah, it, it yeah, it went both ways. Praise God. Now what? Tell me, now that you got her, now that you got him, and the conversation have been, be, become less and less, what do you think would happen in that relationship if communication stopped? Stop talking. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring you to a point. God wants to talk with us and if you started out with him why are you stopping in the middle of the game the game is not over oh no 
Oh, no. The devil think he got it. He think he got you. So if he stopped the communication, yeah, I, I really didn't want any of you all to, to answer that question. Uh, what if y'all stop talking? You know, because, you know, I know that could bring on something else. And I know some of y'all got to go back home in the same place you left. So, so uh, I, I, I realized that, that when we, you leave here today, just like God wants to talk with us, then the conversation is going to start a little bit more when you go home. Oh, my God. See, see uh, I, as I was putting this message together, uh, some of our conversations have stopped. Why? Why do you think some of the conversations have stopped? Well, you know, uh, see, some of you, if you are uh, older than 50, maybe, praise God, and some of you, it, it, it depends on where you, you know, we used to pray for a ride to this place and that place because we didn't have a car. Now we've stopped pray praying because we don't have uh, one car, but we got two and three cars. So now we don't have to pray for a car. Praise God. Maybe have to pray for some gas, but <laughs> woo, glory. But we don't have to pray for the car. And, 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 and some of us well, was brought up when, when back when, when in the day when, when we lived in the house that if the sun and if the moon shine real bright at night and you're on your back, you might be able to see a little bit of the, the, the moon. Why? That's why we had to put buckets here. And buckets, see, y'all don't know anything about that. Because when it rained, that was a drip. That was a drip. That was a drip. So we had to pray, Lord, oh my Lord, either we had to get a bigger bucket. And God bless the with. See, those things, because now we got insurance. You got a hole in the roof. What do you do? What? What? Somebody said it. Call my insurance. See, you're not calling the Lord. You're not calling for the Lord. Because, you know, all you want to do is make a telephone call. Now, they could tell you it's going to be four weeks or whatever, but all, all you want to yeah, I made the call. And you believe it's going to happen. So why is it, why would it be so hard for you just call on the Lord? Talk to the Lord. Praise God. Some of us didn't have all the, the, the fancy uh, uh, dresses and the fancy suits that we have now. We had, uh, I, I, I remember when uh, I had uh, five days a week going to school. Praise God. I wore a shirt this day in the pants. And, and, and maybe I had another shirt I wear the next day, but I had to make sure I go home and pull those pants off and hang them up because I know they was going to come again tomorrow. Oh, no, y'all didn't. Y'all know. Y'all, y'all, y'all know. So, so uh, we, we don't have to pray for clothes now because we got not one closet. Oh, my God. We, we have... Several closets. Uh, 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 and, and we wonder, and, and now it, because of the abundance, that should be how, that should be encouraging to us to, to talk to him even more. To tell him, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for where I come from. Oh, God, when I look back over my life and think things over, I can surely say, Whoop. oh, my God, my God, I've been blessed. And I should be, I, I shouldn't just come and tell you I've been blessed. Who you think gave it to you? My God, my God. Mm, Lord, I'm telling the you that God in prayer want us to work through us through prayer 
He wants to communicate with us. He wants to talk with us. Mm, ah. Ah, now we got so many things and got so much stuff. Oh, my God. We, we don't know. Uh, 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 we want better, better paying jobs. Well, 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 when God bless, before he bless you, how, how often did you pray for a better job? But then he bless you with a job, then you stop talking to him. Oh my God. I'm, I'm trying to awake us and ask you how much communication is there between you and the God you serve. Today, God say, I want to talk with you. Oh my God. You know, and I, and, and I, I realize uh, when, when, when you uh, back on that little, little fine, fine thing that God gave you. Yeah, yeah. See, see, that was a, a Coca Cola bottle then. Oh my God. And yet, some of you old men, y'all were slim and trim. Now you're a jug. Oh my God. See, see, but, but, but have the communication stopped? It's no longer a Coca Cola bottle. Now it might be a two liter. But have the communication stopped? No! If the conversation stop, the relationship, if the conversation stop, the relationship stops. So you can't stop communication because God have changed you or you change yourself. The communication got to stay. And all God is asking, I, I, I want to talk with you. I want to talk with you. I, I, I'll use this analogy and then I, 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 must, I must move on. Uh, my wife so often, oh God. Uh, yeah, I got to go back home too, y'all. <laughs> she so often reminds me. She so often reminds me when she's talking to me or talking. She think or uh, she believe talking with me, and 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 and, and, uh, and I don't say anything. Oh my God! I heard somebody say, "Oh yeah." Guess what she asked me? Did you hear me? And, 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 and I, I said, yeah, honey, I heard you. And you know the next question she asked? Why didn't you say something then? So how much more God is saying? If, oh, God, if he's doing all of that for you, and God is trying to talk to you through Scripture, why aren't you responding to him? Oh, my God. God wants to talk with us. And some of us have stopped talking with God. Because we have gotten too busy. Oh, my God. Philippians 4 and 6 told us, be careful for nothing. But in everything by what? By prayer. My God, and supplication. And it, it, it didn't stop there. It said through prayer and supplication, and you got to be able to be appreciative. It say and thanksgiving. Let your requests, oh my God, be made known unto God. That need, and that has to be. In an order for us, in an order for us, not just when things are critical. That's that's what God, you know. I mean, how many of us, when we, you know, when we say, I, I, I'm not gonna do it again. I, I, I'm, I'm not. But when the urgency, when the emergency comes, we're right back there doing it over again. We say what we're not gonna do, but when emergency time comes, 
We say, I, I, I ain't going to do it for I ain't going to give her no more money. I ain't going to give him no more money. I ain't, I just, I ain't going to do it. And then they come back again to the unjust. No, you wouldn't unjust judge. You the just judge. Come back to, the, oh my good. Where you said you wasn't because of the good. And they come back, you just changed your mind. God wants us to talk with him. God speaks through his word. Psalm 34 and 15. Reader. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Right, right there. The eyes of the Lord is up on the who? Righteous. His, he's, not only he sees you, but what else he do? And his ears are open until Oh my God. But it, even though his ears are open, if you don't say something, not that God it don't know what you're thinking because he knows. But God wants communication. God wants us to talk to him, with him, however we can get to him, oh God, and make our lives better through him. That must be a conversation. Read. And his ears. And his ears are open until their cry. When you cry, that that's 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 a response. That's you asking. You're telling you you're saying something. How 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 do you respond to a baby? An infant when they want something. How do you know to respond? Because of their what? Maybe your baby didn't cry. We thank God for you. Your baby didn't cry. Praise the Lord. But 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 our babies cried, and we knew there was a time. That was that was a, that was a communication between the baby and us, even though they couldn't talk. Now we are not we are not infants here. We are we can talk to God and God want to talk. Praise God. When 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 we talk to God in in in, in 1 John. Praise God. 5. When we talk to God, when we have a relationship with God, 1 John 5, 14, 15, when we have a relationship with God and, and it not just sporadically and, and when we want something. See, first of all, let me get your attention before these scriptures are read. God is not a bellboy. Only time you call on him is when you need him. No. You, 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 you got, I mean, Okay, let's take it back naturally. How many of us would feel so bad if our children only calls on us when they, they don't ever come by and say thank you? They don't ever call me and say thank you? They don't never. How would you feel? How much more? How do you think God feels? What? When, when we talk to God and have a relationship, 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says what? And this is the confidence. Hey, we what? That we have in him. What this? What? That if we ask anything. Anything. I'm sorry, Lord, help me. I, I, be, I believe within my heart. I, I honestly believe it. And this means you don't have to believe it. But I believe everyone that is birthed into this world have a one time communicated with God. If you didn't say nothing but Lord, help me Lord. The sinner. Oh God. And you have called out to God when you need to help. Say help me Lord but this is the confidence I have in him that if we ask anything what? According to his will oh, he God. Us. And do what? According to uh huh. And if we know that he hears us, 
Yes. Whatsoever we ask. Why, my God. Oh, God. If you don't talk to God, God, not that he don't know, but God want a communication. He want communication. He want communication. He wants you to talk to him, and he talk to you. Oh, praise God. My God. When we do that, then we can ask, oh, God, whatsoever we, we will. And we know we automatically have it. I was talking, I was saying in Sunday school this morning, the lepers, praise God. When they left, they still had leprosy. But as they walked, the leprosy, praise God. So just just ask, just talk to him. And I can assure you, if you talk to him and he talks with you, praise God, when you go in your situation, in your condition, I can assure you, it will fall off. And if it don't, the God I, I serve, I know he's what? Able. Able. Praise God, praise God. My God, today God want to talk to us. Mm, God. Yes, Lord. And, and, and why we, 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 we sing in, 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 in a song and, 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 and the, the writer wrote a song once say, why do I want to talk to God? Because he knows just how much we can what? Oh my God. See, 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 God knows what you can bear before you even ask him, get me out of this, Lord. But then he knows the end result if he gets you out. And some things he's gotten us out of and we didn't change. We just waiting on another situation to ask him again, get me out of this. But that ain't how it works. God wants you because it's not just about this life, but it's about the life to come. You don't want to die once and then die again. Oh, break God. But when you want to pull off this, oh, God, and, and let it go back from, to the dust of when it came, and then you want to keep, keep on living. See, I, I, I know some of y'all say, I want to live till I get 90. I want to live till... But I tell you what, if you don't talk to him, he'll let you live till you get 90. Guess what? And four other people trying to take care of you. Y'all didn't catch that, did you? But see, it's not just the 90 I want to get to. I want, Lord, if you, whatever, however, but I want to be in my reasonable health and strength. See, see, the conversation can't stop in the middle, but there got to be a communication. Because God are quit, are stopping in the middle. So yeah, you got 90. But this one has to turn you over to the left. And this one has to turn you over to the right. Praise God. So you got to communicate to God. Oh God. I, I, I looked in the scripture here and in Genesis. I, I, I said that in, in, in Genesis, uh, God created the most choices. He made the most choicest creation. After he had done everything, then he turned in Genesis 1, 26 through 30. He turned and made man. Genesis 1, read. And God said, let us make man in our image. Uh -huh. After our likeness. Mm -hmm. Yes. And over the fowl of the air. Yes. And over the cattle. Yes. And over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, so look, look, God have given us so much authority in our in His creation. We are lacking to use that what He have given. Why? Because you haven't talked to God. What? What did that? That, 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 the next verse say, 27. So God created man in his own image. Uh-huh. In the image of God, yeah. he created him. Uh, and, and, and he didn't just, 
okay, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm going to create you and throw you out there. But what the next verse say? Male and female created you there. Uh-huh. And God blessed them. And, and, and he, didn't throw, he didn't throw you out there. for. And, and we don't just throw our children out to anything. See, love don't do that. Praise God. But we bless them, praise God, that they, when they go out, they won't have to steal. Why? Because they've had it. Some of them be careful because don't overdo it now. And don't teach them how to not have and have everything. Because when they come across the, 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 the bridge, see, that's a bridge. When they come across a bridge of not having and they're used to having, guess what? They're going to get it from somewhere. What do you think all these, all, all these children and these folks out here stealing? Praise God. Some of them, some of them have had everything. Some have been given everything. Matter of fact, they never had a child's life. Because they had to grow up so fast. But now they don't have. But read, read, read. Look. And, and God said unto them, uh -huh. Be fruitful and multiply. Yes. And replenish the earth. Yes. And subdue it. Yes. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. Yes. And over the fowl of the air. Yes. And over every living thing yes. that moveth upon the earth. Yes. Look, when, when, when God do it. When God do it, when God gives you, oh God, and you have been given, given the best, and you've given your children the best of life. Mmm, good. That shouldn't be a stop com of communication. But I'm going to tell you, nothing, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. L let, me, let, let, me, let me throw this one out there to you. Genesis 2. See, God created the greatest, uh, had to uh, provide the greatest creation that was, and that was through humankind, mankind. But look, look what happened. Look what happened in Genesis 2 and 7. My goodness, read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Yes. And breathed into his nostrils. Yes. The breath of Yes. And man became a living soul. Yeah, now all this was being given to him. Now, 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 what did that 16 verse? And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden uh -huh. to dress it and to keep it. Yes. God, and, 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 and he didn't just put him in there, he gave him something to teat. He gave him some teat. Y'all didn't catch that, did you? He gave him something to eat. <laughs> he didn't just throw him out there. But, 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 it, 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 and then, then he gave him another portion in the, 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 the ninth, 18th verse of that same chapter. What did God do? And the Lord God said, it is not good that yeah. man should be alone. Yes, okay. I will make him a help me. All okay. right. God, okay, you see nothing but giving. But when do we, when, 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 when people start giving, when are you going to reverse that? When are you going to talk? If God do it, when are you going to communicate with him? And Adam stopped, just, Adam even stopped talking to God. Y'all say, prove it, Ella Davis. Go to Genesis, the third chapter. He, after he, God had done, y'all see what he, what, what God had done? With Adam, he gave him all these, gave him a, a help meat. He gave him the Coca-Cola bottle. He gave him all of that. And, and he was smiling and had it on his arm everywhere he go. Oh, yeah, he was smiling. But in that third chapter, in the eighth, in the, in the ninth verse, what did it say? And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. My God, in the cool of the day. And what happened? And Adam and his wife hid themselves. And see, what, 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 what you're doing when you stop talking to God, you're doing nothing but hiding yourself. 
See, that was a form of stop talking. Don't come and see you no more. Won't call you on the phone. Won't call God. Won't talk to him. Adam stopped talking to God. Why do you think Adam stopped talking to God? Because of what? Sin. Sin and disobedience. Yes. Why do you think you have stopped talking to God as often as you used to do or used to talk to him? You've gotten all those things he's given you. You've done it. He's created you nice, fine. Now you got a nice husband, boy. That, that boy, even though hair don't grow where it used to on the head, praise God, he got it smooth, shiny. And boy, you, you, you know you got it made. Praise God. But you stopped talking to him. And, 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 and the eighth verse, what it said of Genesis 8 and 9, or the ninth verse, what it said? And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Now, 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 now I, I broke it down like this. When children stop calling you, and then for a while, it's okay. But then after a while, you had enough. You're going to pick up that phone. If you're a real mom or dad, I'm telling you. I'm not, you know, you're going to pick up that phone and say, boy, girl, why haven't you called me? Oh, my God. What do you think God is doing? What do you think God is saying? God wants to talk with you. And, 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 and not that he, he knew where he was. Y'all know their addresses. Y'all know where they live. But you ask, why you haven't called me? God asked Adam, where are you? Why, why, what causes you to stop communication? When sin come in, you'll run from him. When sin come in, you'll hide from him. Oh, my God. Stop coming to church. Stop, y'all thought you were using social media. Say, well, you don't have to go to church anymore. I can visit on social media. Yeah, but are you laying on your bed of affliction? Or are you just waiting until another day because 8 o'clock I got to be at work? So I'm going to use social media today. When you could come and praise God. I'm not saying this is all about salvation in the house of God. But, oh, uh, you know, why do you think people go to the clubs frequently? Because there's a relationship. Because that's where they can talk to somebody that's having the same problem. And guess what? There's no solution. Y'all just talking in the club. Y'all just talking. Just talk, 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 talk. And nobody can give a solution. But when you communicate with God, oh, God, God has the answer. Okay, let me, let me move on because I, I don't have but a few more minutes here. Uh, in Deuteronomy 6 and 10 through 12, it said, And it shall be when the Lord, thou God, shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto his father, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not. Yes, when God give us all the things and we stop talking, uh, he already going to give us houses full of all good things in the 11th verse, the 6th chapter of Deuteronomy, which thou fillest not. The wells you dig, the water that you, you, you just go over there and turn on the faucet. You don't have to, you don't have to go into a well and get, but you just go turn on the faucet. You, if you want cold, you turn on cold. When you want hot, you just turn on. These things God have given, but you've stopped talking to God. It said, and the vineyards and the olive trees, some of y'all got rose bushes in front of your yard. Some of you got hedges and you trim them and make them look so good. But guess who provided that? God provided that and you won't even go out while you snipping, while you cleaning. You won't even tell God thank you. Oh my God, my God. Let me move on here. But it said in the 12th verse of Deuteronomy 6 chapter, it says, then beware let thou forget the Lord my God who brought thee from 
forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You, you know you was in bondage. You know you haven't always been where you are now. And how much do you talk to God? How much? God said, I want to talk with you. Some might say, prayer and talking with God is not that important. Yeah, they say, it's something I'll tell you. You know how they say, why are you always praying? See, if you, yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't heard people say that, that's because you ain't praying. But, but, but I, I would beg a difference with you because I remember in Joshua, praise God, 10, 12, and 4, uh, 14, it said, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered him up or out of, away from the Amorites before the children of Israel and said unto the, the sight of Israel, uh, he told the son, my good, stand still. That was prayer. And this, guess what? The son obeyed. 13 verses of that same chapter say, and the son stood still because that was a communication with him and God. So you can say, you can speak what you want. You can speak into the existence. And, and, and in Daniel, praise God, y'all know the story. We even been having that in our Sunday school lesson. Daniel kept a communication with God. He didn't wait till he get in, got in the lines then. See, see, some of us, some of us right now looking at me on through social media, some of you are in the lines then. Or you headed there. Now you want to ask God to deliver you. But see, God want to, want to talk to you before you get in the lines then. He want to talk to you. And, and, and in that, in that 27 verse, uh, after, after Daniel had been in there and said, my God has sent an angel. See, see, and shut up the lion's mouth. See, see, what God, what God will do when you talk to him, when you communicate with him, he'll shut up the, 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 the gainsayers. He'll, he'll, he'll stop their mouth. He'll, he'll put you in a position on that job where, 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 where they say, oh, well, he, he ain't going to do nothing. He can't do nothing. He'll never get that. She'll never get that. He'll stop it because he'll make provision for you. God will make provision for you. Even in Acts 16, 25 through 26, y'all remember Paul and Silas, Silas, they didn't just start praying when they got in jail. Oh my God. But they communicated before they even got in jail. God wants to talk to us. In my closing on today, I will use this analogy and, and, and you just weigh it for yourself. Think about it as I said. You know, that was a time we, we used to sing a song, Sister Sharon and all you songsters out there, and, uh, Sister Rose and all. Y'all, y'all remember a song we used to sing, Sweet Hour of Prayer? You remember that? Sweet Hour of Prayer, Sister Will, you remember that? Sweet Hour of Prayer? See, that's an old hymn. That's in the Methodist. Y'all might not know that. Praise God. But sweet hour prayer. See, see, the, the song was sweet hour of prayer. But guess what we've done now? The next thing, we went from the sweet hour of prayer to having a little talk with Jesus. Have a little talk with, y'all know that one, don't you? See, you went from the hour of prayer to having a little talk with Jesus. Hey, and, 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 and guess what? We went from an hour of prayer to having a little talk with prayer, and guess where we are now? Oh my goodness! Guess yeah, have anybody guessed it out there where we are? Praise God! We we don't we don't have a, 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 a little talk with Jesus anymore. Praise God! But now, praise God! Will y'all please stand? Let us have a word of prayer. Did y'all catch that? We went from the hour of prayer to a little talk to Jesus. Now, would y'all stand? Let's have a little a word of prayer. Oh, my God. Where have we come to stand to your feet on today? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm closing. You can stand. 
God wants to talk with us.